Some residents in Oceanside want the city to do more to get short-term rentals under control, calling them party houses. And people who live there voice their concerns in the city's planning commission uh, at its last meeting. And Fox 5's uh, Misha DeBono is live for us in Oceanside with the story. Misha. Yeah, hi Andrew, hi Maria. You can certainly see why people want a vacation here. It is absolutely gorgeous as the sun is going down. We've seen this though in many other communities, especially along our coast with the short term rental issue. And now since uh, residents here have voiced their concerns, the city may rewrite their ordinance. One of the biggest problems we have in Oceanside, I think, is a lack of enforcement across the board. That's a complaint echoed by Oceanside residents during last week's Oceanside Planning Commission meeting where they took up the city's short-term rental ordinance. Many residents who spoke said the ordinance needs to be more restrictive and better enforced, complaining about party houses causing noise, trash and parking issues, especially in beachside neighborhoods. The lack of enforcement goes to a lack of resources. Dave Baxter manages short term rentals and is himself a long term renter. He says one of the biggest issues with so many vacation rentals, it's tough to find long term housing. There are too many. There's too many. Uh, they uh, where I live a half mile that way, one block that way, four brand new places when I moved. Oh, we're going to uh, I'm like, what can I do? we're going to get residents. We have, the, I have this lawyer. I have a finance guy. Uh, they're so excited. All four vacation rentals like within months. After listening to the speakers Monday, the Planning Commission recommended the City Council deny an amendment that would tighten up the existing ordinance that allows citywide vacation rentals and instead do more research and rewrite the ordinance altogether, adding a proposal that would prohibit any new short term rentals east of the city's coastal zone, which ends at about Freeman Street. That's a block east of the coast highway. We're not reinventing the wheel here. I come from other cities who had restrictions and like Santa Monica and San Francisco. I mean, the tightest ones they didn't have to start from scratch here. So we did reach out to the city as well as the Planning Commission. We heard back from the city manager late this afternoon. They declined to go on camera, but they say that they do plan to submit their original proposal at the next city council meeting. That's December 20th. They will also add a recap of the Planning Commission's recommendations. From Oceanside, Misha DeBono, Fox 5 News. We'll be watching the developments. Thank you, Misha.